what's up what's up jason flagel here and in this video we are going to give you the most amazing chat gpt prompts for seo that i have found to optimize your seo so let's go ahead and jump into it number one is titles headings and sub content so you can actually use chat gpt to optimize seo content for whatever it is that you're writing so i'm here on converge blog there's an article here 10 most important tools for your toolbox so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this article and then I'm going to ask it to optimize titles, headings, and this, the content for SEO. So I copied that content, I pasted it in here, um, and now it's optimizing some of the content based on the keyword that I gave it, uh, which was toolbox. So it's now optimizing some of the different pieces here. And then you can take this and yeah, work it, uh, work it in from there. Now, number two is you can use ChatGPT for keyword research and find what are the top keywords in a particular article. So I typed in Google toolbox tools. I'm gonna open this here. And I'm going to copy and paste. So I said, what are the top keywords in this article? So this is like a competitor and I now have the top uh, keywords to use. So then I can drop in chat GPT. Can you write a blog post outline for these top 10 keywords for the top tool? tools to have in your toolbox. So I asked it to write a blog post outline for the top 10 keywords for toolbox tools to have and now it's writing out uh, the outline. So you can take this that ChatGPT is generating and drop it yeah, into Google Doc and optimize it from there. I also recommend using Ahrefs and SEMrush or even Neil Patel's Ubersuggest um, to kind of yeah optimize the, the keyword placement and everything uh, just to go a little bit further because ChatGPT is great, but it's um, uh, not, not, not perfect. So you still need to use some of these SEO tools to, to help out. Number three is uh, competitor research. So you can look at content from your competitors and summarize it, create new content. Uh, there's a lot of really cool ways that you can look at competitors. So we kind of were doing that here with this 10 essential tools. So I grabbed the content. I asked, you know, what are the main things here? Uh, but you can actually grab entire content, piece it in chat GPT and create a full new article. Um, for like SEO. Um, so whether you're creating uh, SEO articles, <clears throat> blog articles, or creating new uh, blog, uh, website pages for your website, you can use ChatGPT to optimize that even further. Say I have a SEO agency in Orlando and these guys get the clicks. Uh, sorry, get the clicks is my competitor. So I can go through their entire website and I can kind of take their content and use it to create a whole new um, uh, page. So let me see if I can do that. There might be too much content here to start with. I typed in ChatGPT to create a sales landing page using the content from, say, this competitor. And now ChatGPT is outputting the entire thing here of what it could look like for my other SEO agency. So now all I would need to do is add in the different pieces, images, outline, and I have a full page ready to go. So you can do a lot of competitor research, competitor kind of optimization, like look at the competitors, what gaps are there in the market, uh, and then you can use ChatGPT to optimize whatever it is that you're doing with your products and services and go from there. All right, and number four is content repurposing. So you can repurpose tons of content using ChatGPT and have regular evergreen uh, content. So I recommend always having a content calendar for your brand. Uh, but what you can use for ChatGPT is come up with all your content calendar pieces that need to be created. So for a brand, I recommend having at least four blog posts a month, especially if you're a service oriented business, you know, like here, this is Orlando SEO agency. So they should be having at least four blog posts a month talking about SEO relevant kind of topics or topics for business owners that they can use uh, to grow their business, but where their SEO agency can kind of help out 
with that, with a call to action. So you can actually repurpose full content in here. So I just typed in Google top ways SEO can grow my business. So that's a perfect article like that this SEO agency should have. So I just typed in ChatGBT, repurposed this article into a new article for my blog. And now down here, it's outputting that. So I'm using content here from another well-placed, uh, in terms of SEO, blog article that we can then use on any other blog platform or our product service pages on our website. So you have this ability to repurpose full content into SEO optimized content for your site. And finally, number five is generating alt text and also a backlink strategy. So when you have a full blog post draft ready to go that maybe ChatGPT is creating, you can actually ask ChatGPT to come up with alt text options for that article. So we just generated this eight ways SEO can help boost your business growth. Well, now we have uh, ways to, so eight images we can add in for each of these sections. So now we have the full alt text uh, just created for these eight images right for this article. So let's see if they can recommend any backlink strategy. So I asked it, what's a good backlink strategy for the article above? And now what it's giving me is a few different pieces that we can use to get backlinks to our article to drive, you know, an improvement in our SEO rankings. So reach out to industry influencers and bloggers, infographics, guest posting, social media, internal linking to other yeah, internal pages and other articles, other websites with similar content to see if your article can get linked in there other businesses that you can partner with. And yes, directories are huge. So there's, these are ones that I regularly use with my own agency and then other businesses I've done a lot of SEO work with. It's a great start here. So now you have these backlink strategies. And there you have it. These are the top five best prompts that you can use for ChatGPT for SEO. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing AI tech and Web3 content coming here soon. Only 94% of my viewers of my channel are subscribed. It only takes five seconds to help support me create more amazing content just like this for you. So thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.